Guys, Martin is back. You've already seen him back, but he's back again. But this time he's wearing a full masters caddy outfit. And look at what that says on the back. Shake and bake. Oh yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes. We're just starting this challenge off by going into town and we're gonna buy 14 different types of golf balls wherever we can find them. We're down in San Antonio, as you guys probably already know, out here at Briggs Ranch. That's the casita we're staying in, and the course is literally amazing. So anyway, we're gonna be going out to uh, try and find 14 different types of golf balls. That's our challenge today, and then we're gonna be playing a match with them. Let's get right into this vlog. Obviously, Martin's just fully decked out, ready to go. Oh, I'm ready, baby. I'm ready to find some balls. stop for shake and bake at Chipotle. And this is how he's gonna be ordering today, right. folks. I'm not gonna let you take on the stress of ordering. Yeah. Not only is Martin my caddy, but he's also gonna be ordering for me today. <laughs> it is kind of stressful sometimes ordering at Chipotle, so I need you to take that stress away from me. First bowl is gonna be double white rice, please. Tortilla on the side. Chicken for both. Tiny bit of sorry. Some sour cream, a little more please. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of lettuce. We made it. We're here at Walmart. We're gonna be searching for a bunch of different types of golf balls. Not really sure what kind Walmart has, but preferably like to get maybe nitros, yeah. top flights. I'm pretty sure Walmart sells waterlogged top flights. They're in that market. We're just gonna be searching for as many as we can find, guys. That is the goal. Found the mother load, folks. We whoa, found whoa, the whoa, mother. Don't get, don't get too close. Right we got a lot of different options. Good. We got a lot of different things. We're about to spend a lot of money. Oh, is this a bold move? Do we just get one of these? Because we got Noodle, we got Preset, we got Pinnacle. Uh, let's get Spalding, because those are 10 bucks. And then we're going to get Nitro. We're getting some options. We already have the Pro Vs, we already have Callaways. We got Wilson Staff, we got Strixon, and we got TaylorMade. I think we do. I've golf never hit this golf ball. That's why I'm choosing it. Oh. TaylorMade Distance Plus, and they're 12 bucks. There you have it. The Walmart Golf Ball Challenge. Today, we're going to be playing Shake and Bake, baby. That's right. Versus Bryce Butler and Micah Morris. So essentially, we have 10 different types of golf balls. We're gonna label each different type of golf ball with a number, and then we're gonna use a random number generator to decide which golf ball we're gonna be using per shot. Every single shot, you have to choose a new ball. We're gonna be playing four holes. It's gonna be a 2v2 scramble. Anyway, AVX is number one. Pro V1 is number two. Any Callaway ball is number three. Range ball, which the range balls out here are Pro V1, so. That's pretty easy. Number four, and then Nitro, number five, TaylorMade, number six. And then we have Spalding, number seven. We have Precept, number eight. And we have Pinnacle, number nine, and Noodle, number 10. That is it for all the golf balls. We're gonna make our way to the course. We're gonna play four holes, and we're gonna see what can happen. Let's go to the course right now. We're out here at Briggs Range Golf Club in San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back to another GM Golf video. Guys, we're starting on hole number four out here. And it's basically a drivable part four today. It's downwind, coming into the greens, approach shots, out of the fairway like 150 yards out, or even chipping, even putting maybe. I mean, it's all gonna react different. So I think there's definitely gonna be a change between balls. One through 10, you guys already know which number is each ball. So go ahead no, and this spin. this is a random number generator. So this is what ball we're gonna use. All right, generate it. We got seven. Ooh, seven. You wanna know what that is? Yeah. Spalding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Great start. Great start. <laughs> They're like even colors. They matte balls. Right, go ahead and generate it for us too, honestly. When you Eight. plot, you say you do anything? That's not good. Eight's not good. <laughs> Eight's or <Martin>. precept. Hey! <laughs> that's great. That's, I love softballs. Uh, <laughs> here you go, Morton. Mm, precept. One lucky precept for me. All right, you guys go ahead and tee off first. Send it away. Guys, me and Bryce were so dialed in yesterday. And it's gonna be kind of a different game today with these balls. So hopefully we can kind of dial in that energy and see if we can keep it going. I'm sure he's never hit this ball before, ever. Facts. Oh! Just like I said, Bryce, that might be your new golf ball. <laughs> Bro. I don't know where if it is. If it didn't get caught up in the tree, that's good. That was one of the best drives I've seen you hit. Oh, okay, Martin. That's past it. That's on the right. green. It's on the green? He's driving Oh, yeah. Oh, that might be over the green. <laughs> she, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not worried. You want me to go up and hit first? Yeah, you go ahead and hit first. I think we're going to be experiencing more of what the ball is, with, like Garrett said, when, we, when we're hitting a wedge. All right, guys. Martin with driver. Over the sand Dude, this trap. This is good. Got to get over. Oh, it's over. Oh! Oh, just right over. in the end not of over. it. <laughs> hey, the confidence I, that you just dis displayed there was amazing. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, that looks 
like Santa Trap too. No, yeah, that's right. Santa Trap. Uh, yeah, that's it tried to get out, but I think it rolled back in. No, it's the over. precepts must be hurting the distance for I real, dog. I, I thought I spanked that, that yeah. and it just went. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta be honest. That actually affected it. Yeah, that was believe it or not. But I'm over the sand. How much? Hundred bucks. Ten push up. Hundred bucks. Hundred push ups. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm over the thing. That's an easy hundred. I saw it with my eye. That's why I was like, are you sure you want to make that bet? I didn't even see it. hundred dollar Venmo. Venmo stock is doing very well right now <laughs> in the New York Stock Exchange. I appreciate you. Oh my gosh. I saw it bouncing and I was like, there's no way. That's tough. That's a tough look. But we're going to be taking Martin's. Hey, Martin, we're taking yours. Because Martin actually is not in the bunker, believe it or not. I don't know how he got that lucky. What is it? Five. All right, so we got five. Uh, we got to play with a nitro, folks. <laughs> These balls, if you guys don't already know, they do not spin and they're harder than a rock. All right, guys, Marty P here with a nitro. There's not much green to work with. This is a tough shot, especially for, for this ball as it doesn't spin. Nice right. That's on the green. Good shot. Well, you could not ask for a better shot. Oh. Just in the face of the bunker. He needed about five more yards. Dude, but we're putting for birdie, and I'm just saying, once we get on the green, it's a bad deal. That was almost good, guys. I think the energy between shake and bake is it's not shaking as much as it's baking. Oh, really. it's fine. Blame the ball instead of blame the player, right? Yeah, exactly. We, and, uh, a one. Oh, of course. A AVX. Oh, that's good. Of course. Of course you guys get an AVX. Micah and Bryce down on the front side of the green. They got to get this one up and down for their birdie and they could take a one-up lead. As you can tell, that is the AVX where it's able to spin. Oh, not what you want to see. Duffel stands for duff. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> All right, so now that we're on the green and they're on the green, Micah first is going to go ahead and pick our ball by random number generator. Two. Two, that's actually pretty good. Pro V1, that's solid. <laughs> All right, and we're going to be hitting a six. Six. Six is the tailor-made ball. I feel like putting in general isn't going to be that tough for any ball we get. It's going to kind of react somewhat similar every time. But we got lucky. We got the Pro-V. That's going to give us the best chance to uh, possibly make birdie here. Nope. Yeah, it did dive, didn't it? A bunch. That broke. But Garrett has a good line here, and he's going to see if he can roll I'm this in. I'm way out of the hole. Never a doubt. I didn't go, hit it go, hard go, enough. Go. Oh. That was a decent putt though. I got to give it to them. So they're in for par. And now we got a pretty good look at birdie. Um, this one's going to be breaking a little bit to the right. These greens are so pure. I said it a million times in these videos, but they're so nice. Stay up. Ooh. I did the same thing. <laughs> that was a double door open. <laughs> That wasn't even <laughs> just a door. We're talking like we're walking into my that dad's was a barn and it's just like wide slap open. <laughs> right. And they walked into one of the barn doors on the side. <laughs> yeah, somehow, some way, they missed the whole barn. Guys, after the first hole, we were all square with a couple of pars. Martin carried me on that hole. We kind of took basically all of his shots. But anyway, onto the par five, hole number five, our second hole of the day. Let's just hope we get a better ball into the green. On hole five, par five, dog leg right. Let's see which balls we're gonna get. You go ahead and spin for us first. Nine. No. God. <laughs> That's not good. Nine is pinnacle. Yes. Oh my, please. Four. Four is good. Okay. It's the range ball, and the range balls are oh, pro guys, V1. Pro V1. Yes. yes. Literally, the range balls are pro V1s out here, which is another very good bonus out here at Briggs Ranch, just so you guys know. But we have to play a pinnacle off the tee. It's all right. Pinnacles are the best ball in the game. I've got a pinnacle gold and a gold LS. So I'm saying yeah. this ball, this actually, this legit ball was probably popular back in the 1970s. Yeah. yeah. So somehow <laughs> it found its way back into the 2020s. We're about to see how well 40 years has done to this ball. All right, Bryce here. They're using the range ball, which obviously I already explained is a Pro V1. So this. Uh... Oh yeah. That should be okay. It might Peace be. Slide, hit it. Who just ride the speed slot. Oh, that one's going in the bunker. It's in the bunker. You want a hundred dollar bet that it's in the oh, I, I, I saw that go in. I bet you a hundred bucks is in the bunker. I saw that go in. Alright, we got cake here. This hole is pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, he did it. Okay. Okay. Martin? Yep. Yes, sir. 
can't even got to say it. Dial it up in there. Took advantage of using that Pro V1 off the tee. It would be awesome to get something like that again into the green. So that's might be where they get lucky. Do a little bit right, probably right at the bunker. A little right of the sand trap. Probably gonna trickle down the oh, right of the sand trap yeah. toward that tree. So we'll see what Garrett can do with his so pinnacle. Garrett uh, changes his uh, strategy here with the ball that he knows when going that far. I'm swinging hard. <laughs> We're in play. Ooh, this. That's it's gonna be okay. That was in the sand trap. <laughs> so he hit that one pretty straight, actually. He was trying to hit a fade, I assume, uh, and it just kind of didn't was. turn over That's on okay. him. Hey, right. So Calvary what I want to get is these two, uh, these two right here. That's what I want. Now, you want the little soccer balls? <laughs> or a Wilson from a long time. A Wilson from the '80s. All right. So my ball actually ended in the fairway. I don't know why you just picked it up. <laughs> I should have taken the bet with Bryce about the $100 at not being the bunker. Anyway, Mike's going to spend for our six. All right, so it's the TaylorMade Distance Plus. It could be good. Who knows? I've never hit it before, so we will see. I think they can still get it there. They have probably about 220. This is what they're looking at. Bunker left, bunker right. What are you going to hit? I'm hitting your two iron. Oh, my gosh. You're a beast. I have one of the best partners in the game. Bounces My up. partner is so good. Marty P. Oh! Yes. Woo! That's what I wanted. Boom! Right there. He's probably like 15 feet. <laughs> Marty. Martin. Garrett going with four iron. Pretty good play. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but the trust level is just out of this world. This is oh, just going a little bit right. That wind pushed it. What ball did you have? Right there, just came down. Uh, I think it's on the bunker. bunker. So they're they're sitting really good with an eagle putt, and now me and Bryce are gonna get see what we got. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't need to be catting for me, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, look, anything to help this energy, baby. Dude, oh my gosh, guys, Martin, he got a lesson from Tig on the range today, and let me tell you, he's dialed beyond dialed. Um, all right, here's where they're at. Mike is gonna go ahead and one. A crap, AVX again, you guys got AVX again. I got 159 with slope. All right, so this is where they're at, middle of the fairway to get up and down for Eagle. They got Pro V1 on the tee box, and now they have an AVX. You can't beat it. Whose club are you taking? I'm gonna hit your nine iron. That's not your club. <laughs> Tig's gonna use my nine iron, as he's probably gonna claim as his. That's I long. That so good. good. Yes. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Boom. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Here we here we go. We got Bryce in the action. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Draw. That was hit solid, folks. That was, Bro, that was long. Over, yeah. long. Hey. Boom. Yes. Hey. This is um, just let's let's go ahead and clear the air right now. Just thought about it. Is this hole or stroke? It's stroke play. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Boom. I don't even know what it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the. Lack of sleep last night. I'm not really sure. We were we were all up talking pretty late last night, so our energy is just naturally a little low. But this also proves to you guys yep. we don't need high energy for us to be a good team. You know? It is, yeah, that's true. We play we play with what we got. It's like dessert. You don't always need it, but it's nice to have. Exactly. Dang. All right, what do we got for putting, Tig? Five. All right, so we got a five, folks. That is going to be a nitro. I'm about that. We're big fans of nitro. Big nitro, right. guys. And we got a nine. For chipping? Oh, that's great. For putting. Oh, you're on the green? Oh, shoot. Well, we might be just off, but we're going to putt it. Uh, yeah, you guys are hitting pinnacle. We are hitting nitro. And we all got our putts. They got to putt an eagle. We get a putt at eagle as well. Oh, this is kind of what they're looking at for their eagle putt. About 35, 40 feet. And then Martin puts it to 10 feet from 210 yards. What an absolute legend. Distance control is pretty key here, as you can see right there. Bryce is going to go first, and we're going to see if we can knock it in. Settle. That took bad. off. That wasn't bad. I hit it out of the heart, though. Hit, hit it good far. Shot my ball and didn't want to hit it bad. All right, that's what they're looking at for their birdie. Not the best situation for Team Tig and nope. Micah. Team Shake and Bake, who team actually has a team name, it. is really feeling it here. Martin has told me about 10 times he's going to make this, and trust me, guys, I believe it. I believe it. I mean, oh, you said you were going to make that I mean, 100 I times. I, it it felt great. That's tough for them that's, because... 
tough if they with, make like, par, we're two under. They yeah. could be even par after this hole. That's true. Going tough, to the last tough two. has two different meanings here. For us, it's UFF. <laughs> For them, it's O-U-G-H. I mean, right. it's just... Exactly. It's, there's just a huge difference. There's a massive there. difference. Yeah. I think that's our... That was our time. That, that was our time. But it, it's still... Look... Like, and our energy is still, like... <laughs> we're still dialed Super in. chill. <laughs> He did it. Oh nice. my, that's clutch. Whew. That's freaking clutch. I didn't expect Great. that from you, Tig. Not at all. I thought it was going to be a hard left or right, maybe five feet past the hole, but you know. I actually, you know, I thought he was going to make that. I'll be honest. I don't know what it was. After our second hole of the day, we are currently at 200 par. They're at one under par. Uh, the match is still very tight. We're going to move on to a par three, actually. We're going to skip to hole eight here at Briggs Ranch, and we're going to play that and then play a par four, hole nine, coming into it, and we're going to finish there. Team Shake and Bake, that was a nice eagle. Oh, look, that was definitely a team effort. For real, for real. I'd rather make a thousand double bogeys with you than one eagle without you. That's true. So. Same here. All right, so we are on to hole number eight, which is our third hole of the day, folks, par three. Playing about 150 yards, so a pretty simple hole today. Let's see what ball Team Shake and Bake has to hit. Please be Six. Fun. Dude, we <laughs> can't... Ca mm. We're playing with the same TaylorMade that we played with going into the green right here. The little TaylorMade, the distance plus. Me and Butler are going to be hitting a 10. That's not good. All right, yeah, that's not good. Look. Noodle. Yeah, noodle's not the worst. 100, what did you said, 150? I got pitching wedge and nine iron. Not really sure which club I'm going to go with yet. Hole in one is definitely in play for us here. Eagle, eagle. That wouldn't be bad. Guys, this is what we're looking at. Hole eight out here at Briggs Ranch. We got a bunker kind of right, and that's the only bunker on this hole, but the pin's up front. Pretty accessible. Martin's probably hitting him. What are you hitting? Eight iron? Uh, yeah. Going a little bit right. Over, yeah. Nice. Ooh, that actually landed and it's kind of a downslope there, so it's gonna work its way probably onto the green pretty good. Pretty good shot there, Marty P. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, man. I uh <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. Garrett going with pitching wedge. That's a great shot. Got a fit. Fit. Maybe. Yeah. We'll take it. That is not bad, although there's kind of a ridge right there and they're gonna be putting over and down to the pin, but nonetheless, that's a good shot. We got two looks at it for birdie. A pitching wedge, apparently a full swing was too much. I probably should have taken a little bit off of it. Those Taylor maids actually go pretty far. <laughs> they, yeah. The distance plus is not a lie. Mm -mm. No. Bryce, what do you got in hand here? Eight? Eight. Nice. Come on, dude. Get up. As super short. How are you feeling going into this shot, Micah? I feel pretty good. See, I'm hitting a, a noodle, so it's not going to spin as much. So I'm a little bit worried about. I almost, hit, I almost could hit a 52 degree, but I'm just going to kind of ease up on flipping yards a little bit. 52 degree, 150 yards. What kind of confidence is that? That's kind of a beast move, but he's going with a little pitch mode. Ooh, that's looking good. Man, get in the bunker. <laughs> Ah, man. That's, that's what, I'm glad. what a shot. What man. an athlete. Yeah. Bradley, athlete them. cut that shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we all got looks at birdie, so pretty good opportunity for Martin and I to get it to three under. Ooh, three under through three would be solid. All right, up to the green here. This is kind of what we're looking at, guys. We got Martin's ball here on the right side, and then we got my ball all the, all the way over there, and then Tig. Literally about seven feet. An absolute beast of a shot. Go ahead and spin for what Martin and I have to use. Nine. Oh my god. Nine. Gotta love it. Uh, pinnacle. You'll have to see it. Alright, what about you guys? And me and Butler are using four. four. That's a good, that's pretty good. Range ball. Alright, so Martin and I have actually a really good look at Birdie here down the hill. Solid opportunity to make this. And then they obviously also have a very, very good look at Birdie. Bryce, right, so if we make this putt, we're tired. We're not going make into it. the last hole. They're not make it. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to win. And our position gets a lot better going into the last hole. Martin and Garrett here for Birdie. Ooh, needs, to needs to settle. Needs to settle. That's wow. gonna get all the way back here to me. He hit the camera. So I don't know if it was the if it was the ball or if it was it the putter. Like Bryce was about to run and just take me out. So. <laughs> now Garrett here, he should be able to get it closer than that. Pretty confident in that. <sighs> for half a second, Bryce, I thought you spoke too soon. <laughs> nah, I knew it was good. Yeah, <laughs> so they're in for par. Now we got a chance to tie uh, this up. All right. Well, that was actually a pretty easy putt. I just pulled mine a little bit. This is what they're looking at. They got about seven feet down the hill for their birdie. 
That was a good putt. You had you had to take it up there. Ah, dang. Micah. That's tough. That's not good. That's unfortunate, guys. We had a chance there. Yes, sir. All right, on to the last hole here. Par four straight away. Hole nine. Let's go. All right, so Mike is gonna go ahead and pick for our ball. This is what hole nine looks like straight away. Par four. Five. Five. Yeah, we We've had five before. Nitro. Great. <laughs> awesome. And me and Bryce are using an eight. eight. It gets worse as it Look goes. At that up. height difference. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty sad. All right, precept and nitro. This is what we're looking at with hole nine. Marty going driver. I think all of us are going driver actually. Oh, and that's just right Dude. down the pipe. All right. Martin, I've never right seen there. you play this good in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dude. Dude, we feeling it, man. I want you to hit it as You're hard feeling it. as you possibly can. You know that wind behind us? Dude, I'm that's excited. that energy that's been chasing us this entire time. I'm going to try and get up on that left side. So. <laughs> Woo! All right, Garrett's it going after this up. one. Man, it just fits great. I am I was like, he's gonna hit a bad shot. That's, that's perfect. Bad. That's right yeah. underneath that tree, so <laughs> it actually could be playable. I don't know, but they got one yeah. in the fairway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. I tried to ride the wind up there on the left side, and whew, just went straight. It is so funny when you hit balls like that. It, like I could see, it just got to the top and then just dove straight down. Simmer. I might end up in a pool. <laughs> That's definitely right. <laughs> here we go. Tig's got to kind of come in clutch here. Let's get one on the fairway here. See if I can get a little fairway finder. That might be in the bunker. It's going to roll a ways. Yeah. That's bunker. Ooh. That energy. pretty good for that ball. I thought it was going to turn more, but no spin. I'm pretty sure, Micah, you see that ball right there? Yeah. I mean... That was nuked. That was nuked. Garrett, what was that? Uh, you almost hit that as far as Mike's tee shot. I, I know, it feels pretty daggum good. This is this is where Martin's at. We're 151 yards away. This is where Bryce and Tig are. Take it in the bunker over there on the last night. All right, what are we hitting? What nine. Ball? We're hit, we have not <laughs> gotten lucky on any of Nine's a shot. pinnacle. What do you guys have to hit from the bunker? We gotta hit a five. Five, it it's a nitro. Dang it! Yeah, Nitro. Come on! Yes, sir. All right, I got pitching wedge. It's a lot of Garrett's fun. hitting pitching wedge. Marty P is probably hitting nine. I am. It's, it's actually working back toward the pin. It is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's only <laughs> like seven feet. You want to carry the tape some more? Goodness! <laughs> Marty, what is going on? <laughs> hey, go for the hole, dude. Yep. You're going pitching wedge, and he's just going to take this right at it as Marty's in there, like inside 15 feet. Yeah. This ball's going to be a little bit right. It's going to kick left. Yeah. That could as be you right. saw, I had to move the camera so it would focus, and you saw it bounce right. at the right side of the screen. All right, 129 yards here from Bryce's ball in the bunker. Pretty good opportunity, actually. That was a good shot though. It's tough to make solid contact out of fairway bunkers. Here we go, we got Tig with a 52 degree. Dang it. Get over the bunker. Ooh, not ideal. They're gonna be taking Bryce's ball probably because Mike hit it in the bunker. They have a pretty good chip to get up and down for their par, but uh, Team Shake and Bake might have this match in the bag. We didn't lose, we ah, bet. We didn't win yesterday, No. but like we were saying, at heart we won because we always have the positive mentality, we always have the winning mentality. Yep. That's what you have to have to win. Today might be our day because Martin freaking put it in there close to about 10 feet. I, how many shots have I called today? I yeah. don't even know how you're playing so good and I love it. I like, guys, Martin, I love to see it, honestly. It's great. Which ball are we putting, Micah? Two. Two? Oh, yeah. it's a pro we won. And then we got to hit the five. And then they have to hit five, which is the nitro again. Oh. And then go ahead and go for your putting too, because you're chipping. What do you got to hit for your putting? Nine. Okay, and then they have to go nine, which is a pinnacle. We got a nice ending. They got a tough ending. They have to hit nitro from their chip and then pinnacle from their putt. I mean, just look at this, guys. 
He can't miss today. He literally cannot miss. We got Micah and Bryce over here, left side in the fairway. They got nitro for their chip. Pretty simple chip shot, but they need to make it. He needed a little less flibble and a little more flop. We got Bryce here. Has to make it in order for them to have a chance at winning this challenge. Bad. All right, Martin, go ahead and finish it out for okay. your own birdie. All right, I'll do that. This is going to be a solo birdie. I got carried this whole match. I'm not even going to lie. Martin freaking carried me. Okay, that it's kind of a bad way to end it. Yeah. That's not ideal. But that's fine. Yeah, they, they, they already won. But he's going to try to finish with the birdie and get to three under through four holes, which would be pretty impressive, honestly. And then we got that for par. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to win. I left it short. It. We both wow. left it short. Dude, well, it's it's all good, dude. <laughs> we just it's it's like I'm I'm purposely savoring this moment. Right. I'm I purposely I savoring this moment. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for this challenge. Shake and bake. Got another win. Mm. They hadn't won in a while, so. In a while means two Briggs. matches, which that's a lot. Yeah. It it <laughs> that's our first win at Briggs Ranch. Yep. Which it's good to be back. It is good to be back. Good to be back I in the like business. It. Guys, in the comments down below, hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. Let us know. If you want to see more of this challenge, maybe a different type of challenge, just any suggestions, or I read just, the comments. Or just more of us. I mean, we're open to that too. We yeah. don't care how it looks. Just shake and bake. Just shake and bake all day. All yes, day. sir. We gave it a good run. I mean, we made a good birdie. I didn't run. give it a good run. Micah gave it a great run. Hey, it's, there's, I didn't do nothing good. outside of my first tee hey. shot today. I at the I didn't do anything either today, so I can relate. First losers right here. Everybody. Let's 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 celebrate this. Let's celebrate this. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next video. There's lots more content to come down here at Briggs Ranch. If you guys want to check them out, all that will be linked down in the description. If you want to check Bryce Butler out, his YouTube channel actually, he freaking makes YouTube videos and we're making it's videos. It's right down below. It's down there. And you can check out his Instagram, Micah. Martin, check out Martin. Actually, Martin, have you started your YouTube channel yet? Or are you starting it? Or yes, do we it, not? We're right, we're right there at the point before we start launching some videos. So, so yeah. I'll link it anyway. Yeah. So you guys have subscribed to him before he ever makes a video. So if you guys are still watching it to this point, subscribe to him. Subscribe, baby. Yes, sir. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys, peace out. <laughs>